Hi friends, today we will be summarizing the effects of a typical competitive, uncompetitive and non-competitive the three types of reversible inhibitors on the enzymes. We know that they have different effects on the values of KM and Vmax of a typical enzyme. Let us just have a summary of what they do in their presence. If you talk about a typical competitive inhibitor, we know the characteristic feature of this inhibitor is that it mimics the structure of the substrate and therefore it binds at the active side. So enzyme, it can either bind the substrate to form a ES complex or it can either bind the inhibitor to bind, form the EI complex. You will never find a ESI complex. So you have an enzyme, inhibitor and substrate both look similar. Enzyme gets sort of confused and therefore its affinity towards the substrate in the presence of inhibitor it decreases. We know that in a simple linear relationship there is a inverse relationship between KM and affinity. So competitive inhibitor in its presence reduces the affinity of the enzyme towards the substrate and therefore its value of KM it increases. So affinity decreases, KM increases. We know Vmax is reached at a higher concentration of substrate. So when you have a lot of concentration of substrate, the amount of inhibitor is less. So the enzyme probability of binding of that enzyme to the inhibitor is highly reduced. So apparently there is no effect on the Vmax in the presence of a typical competitive inhibitor. In contrast, a typical uncompetitive inhibitor, as you can see, it binds only to the ES complex. You can see it cannot bind the free enzyme because there is no proper site for, for, for binding of this inhibitor on the surface of this enzyme. Only after E and S it has bound together, the site for binding of the inhibitor is revealed and therefore the inhibitor binds the ES complex to form this ESI complex. So the enzyme quickly binds the substrate in the presence of the inhibitor so that the inhibitor gets its site for the binding. And therefore, the affinity of the enzyme towards the substrate, it increases. And as I mentioned earlier, the inverse relationship between KM and the affinity, affinity increases, KM it decreases. Once there is a formation of ESI complex, a dreaded complex is reached. So, in any case, the value of Vmax, it will decrease. So, therefore, in presence of a typical uncompetitive inhibitor, both KM as well as Vmax of the enzyme, the apparent values, they decrease. Come at the non-competitive inhibitor, here it can either bind the free enzyme or the bound enzyme because there is a separate, completely separate and revealed binding site for the inhibitor on the surface of the enzyme. So enzyme can either bind the inhibitor to form an EI complex, enzyme can bind the substrate to form an ES complex, then the inhibitor can bind to form an ESI complex. So, therefore, the affinity of the enzyme towards the substrate is unchanged in the presence of the inhibitor. So, whether the inhibitor is there or not there, affinity of the enzyme remains the same. And therefore, the value of KM, it remains constant. But, even if there is formation of ES, I can bind. Even if the S is not bound, still I can bind. So, you reach both dead end complexes, that is EI and ESI. In both cases, the decrease of Vmax, it is observed. So, a typical non-competitive inhibitor, the KM value constant, Vmax value decrease. To summarize, competitive KM increases, Vmax constant, uncompetitive both decrease, non-competitive KM constant and Vmax decreases. We have in separate videos the derivation of all these three uh, inhibition equations where we have derived the initial velocity equations for these inhibitors. Please do watch them. Thank you.